Starring myself, I'm Mrs. Brady and Eleanor, my daughter. So we are going to start today with a game called Snack Time. And it comes from this book, Developing Number Knowledge, which actually you get this book when if you take the course, um, the Math Recovery course two. It's an excellent resource. You can also buy it online, but it's it's really good when you have the professional development that goes with it. You're gonna, what you're going to need for this activity are some cups. I have some yogurt cups right here. We have and we have pink cotton balls for me and white cotton balls. I have white cotton balls because they're quiet, um, but you could use... Um, and we're just we could just pretend these are anything because we're we're calling it snack time so we could pretend could be, they these look are a lot like those pirate booty pirates booty pirate booty or grapes or popcorn yeah, popcorn it could be anything so like thinking you know if I am going to be serving some popcorn I will need a certain amount of cups to serve my popcorn and I will need a certain for a certain amount of people right. And I will need a certain number, if I'm being fair, I'm going to give each person the same amount, right? So, the game, lid, pick, um, cloth, place for the dice to go. <laughs> so, you're, for this, also, you're going to need two dice. I have two different color dice here. That'll help me know which dice goes with what. So, in other words, I'm going to put a little green dot on number of cups to remind me that that's the green dice. And I'm gonna put a yellow dot at number <clears throat> of pieces per cup. So I remember that that dice is for that. If you don't have different colored dice at home, you could use, let's see, you could use a deck of cards. Um, you can do all the red ones would be the number of cups uh, and for this activity, I'm saying you start with one through six for each number of cups and number of pieces per cup. So get out the ace through the six in a deck of cards. All the black ones would maybe be the number of cups and all the red ones would be number of pieces per cup. So you'll have two different piles and then that'll help you remember um, what each of them means. Just an idea if you don't have I dice need. or something like that. And of course, if you do use cards, then you can like, take out the ace and maybe add a seven for the number of pieces per cup or the number of cups needed. Like you can kind of adjust based on what your child is showing you and how they're doing. But you really want to make sure that the kids are talking about what they're noticing about the groups and noticing about the numbers and, and how they can count and things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Can I write down the numbers? Yes, please. Let me move this a little farther this way. I forgot that step. Eleanor is so awesome. She remembered that step. She's writing the dice amount. So six. Six times four is the Yep, equation. you could even put an X in the middle because mm -hmm. six times four equals. <laughs> All right, now you're going to figure that out. So how would you figure this out? Let's, know. let's dump there. them out. There's four there. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, whoa, what? Put, Put those back. This is eight. That's eight. And that's eight. Oh my gosh, so eight plus eight plus eight. Mm-hmm. All right, so. 16 plus so, eight. So eight plus eight is 16. You know that. There's a lot of kids out there who might not know that, and that's okay. If you if you know that four plus four is eight, and then maybe you might count out the rest, it seems like Eleanor knows that eight and eight is 16. So 16. finish your counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Let's put that like that so we can see the four. 22, 23. Oops, 20. Oops, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. Nice. All right. So what did you get? Say it out loud, please. So, um, four, four number of cups. Yep. Four <laughs> times three. And actually, you don't have to put the times in here. Really, the important part is if you're in third grade or fourth grade or fifth grade, 
you do want to be thinking about the times and the equals. If you're in second grade, actually, this activity is just fine without bringing that up. But if your child understands it you, and you can start talking about it with them, they're going to understand it better when they get back to school. Okay. Okay. So. Um, so three and that one. I know the answer. Whoops, three and that one. Three. I'm used to putting in four. So she's already figured out the answer in, in her head. And I guess now you're checking, huh? All right, so go ahead and check. Three, six, wait, no. Yeah, three, three, six, nine, twelve. I like this game. Can we finish this later? <laughs> you're asking me? Sure. <laughs> What's the beauty is about the one that we just rolled is there's actually a number relationship right here between oh, the two numbers. I get it. Here. I what, get what it. do you get? So, um, when you're so two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. So a way that you could have figured out this one would be um six plus six because half of four is two mm -hmm. so six plus six equals 12 yep so there's a relationship you see here because this this is half of this and again that's you know something that may come up a child may be able to express what she did they may not and it's totally fine take them from where they are I like this let them say what they're she loves this game yay <laughs> okay so Three times four equals blank. Oh, I know it. <laughs> this is the turnaround fact. Can you see what she was talking about? This one's four times three equals 12. And she just got three times four. And we're trying to figure out how much that is. And she just said it's the turnaround fact. And do you remember the you commutative, said property. commutative property? Commutative property. Right, so we've got to figure out what number is going to go there. And do you know what number is going to go there? What is it? 12. 12. Okay, so how are you going to check it? You could either go... Um, so you, you, go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. You really want to have your child check whether they're right or they're wrong. So they're verifying if they, um, for themselves, if they have the correct answer or not. So you could check by doing 8 plus 4. Which is 12. Mm -hmm. How four. did you think about the 8 plus 4 equals 12? Um, well, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Mm -hmm. And 10 plus, and then, like, if you take the 2 away from 4, then you're left with 2 more. And 10 plus 2 equals 12. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show what she said. It, can you say it one more time while I'm doing it? Mm -hmm. If I can. So, <laughs> okay, go ahead. 4 minus 2 equals um minus if two you equals took, two okay got it yeah equals two yeah and then if you take the other two and you add it to the 10 then you get 12. and so students may need to go ahead and put these out so they can see what the equal groups look like we're keeping them in the cups because that's where eleanor is but for second grade actually this might be a very new concept we're we're actually doing equal groups right here and um, we do some of that in second grade, and we have done some of that so far, but it, they're at, equal groups are actually really fun to play with and to think about. And what we're doing right now is we're putting a little bit of structure to it, which helps your child learn. 